Hello again, everybody. It's Game Slinger here with you today. How's everybody doing? I've got a new strategy for you today. This one I think you might find interesting. It's going to help with some of those smaller animals that are sometimes hard to hit in the head. Uh, if you don't have the trinket that boosts your level 2 skins to level 3s, this will come in handy because you do need to hit the animals in the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a bridge. We're going to park our horse about 400 yards away from it on one side and we're going to run to the other side. Now you're going to want to run far enough that any animals are, that are in the area surrounding your horse respawn. Uh, I have no idea what the exact parameters of that are, but as you're going to see, I'm going to go a little bit of a distance, maybe 500, 600 yards out, and then come right back. This is perfect for your small animals like squirrels, uh, foxes, things like that, that can be hard to hit on the run. Because as you're going to see here, they're going to come running right at you. So hitting them in the head is going to be really easy. Um, you'll see here I get a couple squirrels, uh, rabbits, foxes, things like that. They're all going to be easy to hit. The only downside to this, as you're going to find out here in a minute, is that since you're using a bridge, you may get some foot traffic. Um, the guys that end up roughing me up, I don't know what their deal was. I didn't aim at them, at least not that I saw. I didn't instigate. I also have full honor, so it's not like they were just pissed that I exist. I'm not really sure why it happened, but be careful where you're aiming. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on what's around you in the radar, uh, and you shouldn't have too much trouble. But anyway, so what you're going to do, make sure you got your dead eye up uh, so that you can zoom in on the little furry, furry creatures that are going to be coming your way. And once you're all set, you're going to call your horse. So you're going to whistle for your horse. I put mine up in the woods a little ways because I was hoping that maybe he'd catch a couple more little crit critters, which he did. Uh, you can see there's a rabbit going by there. And honestly, this method is good even if you don't use your horse. Um, you know, little creatures go on the bridge and they get stuck. So that's a good time to pop them. Another thing, if you have two or three horses, you may be even able to gather even more creatures. Um, I'll leave that up to you. But as you can see, my horse is here now. They're not always going to run in front of your horse. Sometimes they take a minute to catch up. But here we go. So we've got uh, two squirrels are going to be coming my way. I'm going to pop them both. I got, my, uh, I got my critter arrows out. And I don't know if that guy, like... Looking at the radar, he was red before he even got to me. So I don't know what the hell his deal was. But luckily, I popped both of these squirrels. I'm going to pick them up, stash them. I was hoping these guys would leave me alone because I had Max Honor. But they decided to stick around and be a bother. So eventually, I took them out with my varmint rifle. Um, but this is a great trick for, you know, if you're trying to hunt foxes, rabbits, uh, even coyotes sometimes. Honestly, anything that'll get spooked enough by your horse to run far enough to hit the bridge, this is a great way to collect. And what's nice is that once they're on the bridge, they really don't have anywhere to go. I haven't noticed any of them running back the other way. The only time that I've seen that happen is if, you know, you have foot traffic and one of the, you know, NPCs scares them off. But because you're crouched like that, they don't really notice you. And your horse kind of spooks them right in you. So it's great. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep looking for ways that this game can kind of... I don't want to call it an exploit because it's technically not. I mean, it's just using your noggin, you know. But what's great about Red Dead Redemption 2 is that there's so many different ways to get things done. Um, you don't have to use conventional means. You can get around it. You know, be creative. If you guys and gals have any specific ways that you would recommend, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm always up for exploring something and figure out an easier way to do things. So anyway, my name's Gameslinger. Mike, if you like, I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you want to subscribe, go for it. I'm always trying to find new ways to break games. Um, you know, just kind of out of the norm is how I how I focus on things. That's, you know, it's, it's just more fun that way. You know, break the game, make it more fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.